now basic lecture deals with the basics of the java language the basics of the language the variables the loops the classes and objects and how how we can use this basics of the language to develop in the enterprise edition of java or we can develop programs for android now let us go through the basics of the language that we are now undergoing this java now this was developed as a project for interacting between embedded systems for which we were trying to have a language more secure than c c++ and we came across and developed a new language we called as oak just so we developed a new language we called as oak and however time changed we changed the name finally shifted the name back to java and why all this while well, internet came into picture and gave java the prominence the two features why we why we had this stupendous growth of the language is primarily due to the platform independence feature of the language and secondly as we can develop programs called applets that run on the browser and which which run on the internet so these are two of the main prime features that we had that led to the development and growth of the language now let us see how the platform independence works for java now we have a java program we compile the program and normally the program in any language it compiles to a machine code which is as per the machine but in this case we have a byte code which is platform independent format we can say a kind of a machine format which is platform independent and has been specifically written for the java virtual machine now it is it is its target is the virtual machine the java virtual machine rather than the platform itself now the platform itself is the operating system so we are not 